Did the future already happen? In today's Corker's Arts video, that's what we're gonna be finding out. The paradox of time. Did you already watch this video? Is time already set? Are all events past and present and future already decided because they're just running the course of the calculation, the great calculus of the universe? Well, hopefully Corker's Arts will let us figure this out in this video. If you are into fascinating videos like this, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm Dom Mecca. Thank you for watching. Let's get right into the video. Do your past, present, and future all exist right now? Are you mm. watching this video, being born and lying on your deathbed at this very moment? Mm. Surprisingly, the answer could be yes. Whoa. But how can that be? Whoa. What does that even mean? Whoa. How does time work? The block universe. Imagine the universe like a child painting pictures on paper. Each picture shows everything that's happening in the universe in a single moment. With each new moment, all kinds of things occur everywhere. People are born and die, galactic civilizations expand, you miss the bus, and our huh. universe kid makes a new picture that replaces the old one. In this way, you get something like a movie. Only the moment we're in right now is real. The past is what happened before, now it's gone. The future is still to come and hasn't been drawn yet. Mm -hmm. This is kind of how time feels, right? Each moment being replaced by the next one. The right. past is far behind us. The future doesn't exist. But what if time is something else? What if the universe kid has already finished all its drawings and stacks them on top of each other? Wow. This way, we get a block. A block of time that contains the whole history of the universe. All oh. moments that have ever existed or will ever exist. But in this block, in this stack of moments, the past, the present and the future are equally real and exist at the same time. This hmm? feels wrong. The only things that we perceive as real are those things happening now. Right? Because <laughs> if the future hasn't come into existence yet, how is it real? But then you could say the same thing as the past says the past has already happened. It doesn't exist any longer, but we know it, it was real because it happened. How can the past and future be real right now? The problem is that according to the theory of relativity, they kind of have to be. Have what? They have to be? Fully simplified, relativity says that time and space are not separated, but one connected space-time. Mm. When you move through space, you're also moving through the block. Wow. True, true, true. Einstein, this is your fault. He tied time and space together as one thing. So when you're moving through time, you're also moving through space and space is moving through time. Whoa. Trippy, trippy, trippy. This means time passes differently for different people, depending on how they move through space relative to each other. And this also means that what someone perceives as now is a certain cut along the block, a cut that will depend on how fast they're moving. Mm. So what you think is now is really only your now. So this also ties into that time cone thing. There are many different nows in the universe, and all of them are equally real. This also means there's no universal past or future. There's <laughs> no universal past or future. God, everything seems like a mess, doesn't it? Okay, this is a lot. How does this work? Imagine three alien spaceships a million light years away. Okay. The first one just hovers in space, not moving relative to you. Okay. You both experience the same now, the same present. Right, right. If you had a magical instantaneous internet connection, you could do a video call right now and chat about alien things. Space time. The second spaceship is flying away from us at 30 kilometers a second, about right. three times faster than a human rocket. It's moving differently through the block of time than you are, which means it's now is different from yours. With the magical internet, the aliens can talk to your ancestors in 1924, when humanity was discovering the first galaxies outside the Milky Way. What? <laughs> isn't, isn't that breaking causality and stuff like that? What? 
The third spaceship wants to visit Earth and is flying towards you at 30 kilometers a second, moving at the opposite angle of the second ship through the block of time. It experiences yet another now. With the magical internet, the aliens can talk to your descendants in the year 2124, when humanity has already built cities on Mars and Venus. What? What? <laughs> now we're talking into the future. I thought all these things were not possible. Where are you going with this? Where are you going with this? I mean, I guess this is the paradox of time. Okay, so we have three different nows. So which one is correct? Well, that's the problem. Relativity is based on one powerful principle, cosmic democracy. The fact that the point of view of all observers in the universe is equally valid. All those nows wow. have to be equally real. Wow. But if this is the case, your past, present and your future all have to exist at the same time right now. Brain blown. This is true if you really think about it, right? As you travel through space and you travel faster times, you experience time slower. So your present is different from my present setting still on the surface of the earth. And that means both of those realities are existing at the same time. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Incredible paradox. Because for the different aliens, they all happen in their present. This means that the distinction between the past, the present, and the future is an illusion. Wow, never thought of it as an illusion. Does that mean that time travel could be a real thing? I mean, backward time travel. I think time travel into the future could be just hang out around a black hole for a while and come out and it's going to be probably eons into the future. You could call it a time machine in a sense, but that's a one way trip. Could we go backwards in time? Is that mathematically possible? Is that really possible? In these paradox scenarios, kind of, because in one of the scenarios, the alien ship was talking to the past. The universe is not a bunch of things evolving through time, like in a movie, but a static block in which the past, the present, and the future all coexist and are real. <laughs> How can that be? Well, think about a galaxy outside the observable universe too far away to ever visit or see. But even if you can't get there and don't see it, it's still real. The future might be the same, but if the wow. past is not far behind us and the future actually exists, then there is no movie. Things don't happen in the universe. The universe just is like a f universe just is. Wow. Frozen block of dead cosmic ice with everything that will ever happen already written and decided Crazy. is the future already written if all times coexist and are equally real then the future has to be already written but True. that's not how you experience things it feels like you can mold your future with your decisions it really feels like you're free to choose to stop watching youtube to not miss the bus that raises another question what does that say about free will? Is that just an illusion or is that really real? Because I mean, for example, what makes up your personalities? What makes up your decision making? What makes up your decisions? I mean, it's all outside factors, right? And your past experience, your personality, is it already written? Because of the, all the different various thousands, maybe billions of circumstances all around you that exist, the decision has already been made for you. <laughs> right like that is the only course you would have taken at that moment because of these particular circumstances that you are surrounded by and maybe all your experiences in the past that you've gone through huh so again is free will really an illusion or is it really real <laughs> something else to think about but if the future is set in stone you can't decide anything so are your choices an illusion well, well maybe crazy. Maybe your free will is a mirage, and maybe you missing the bus was already predetermined at the Big Bang. So feel free to continue watching. <laughs> Decided at the Big Bang, the beginning of the universe, everything that's going to happen to you in your life has already been written.
I mean, in religious texts, it's also, I think, they see the world in that way, right? Except quantum stuff is ruining everything again. Mm. Quantum processes can't be predicted. Mm. Corcazar has a trap card. <laughs> Not even in principle. Not because we're silly and don't know how to do it. According to quantum physics, quantum particles are intrinsically random. For example, if you have a radioactive atom, it could decay at any moment, in the next second or in the next million years. Wow. We can calculate the probability that it will decay tomorrow, but no oracle in the universe will ever be able to tell you with absolute certainty if it will do so or not. Wow. But quantum particles can change the world. Imagine a radioactive element randomly decays and causes a genetic mutation in a nearby oh. mammal. And then many generations later, that mutation has led to a weird mix of duck and mammal that makes no sense. Or the atom decays a day later, and the weird creature will never exist. <laughs> if quantum stuff is really uncertain, the future can't be set in stone. But if the future is an untold story, it can't be real in the same way as the past is. Mm -hmm. So what happens when uncertain things like the decay of our atom become mm. real? Is that moment the present? Is this now? Mm. But before we saw that cosmic democracy makes it impossible to define an absolute now. What's right. going on here? It turns out that for every individual object, you, an alien, an atom, the past, the present, and the future are always well defined. Your okay. death will always happen after your birth, never before, and never at the same time. Mm -hmm. Now, you are clearly between your birth and your death. So, right. for you at least, now makes perfect sense. If we don't play tricks like going to the other side of the universe and using aliens in funny ways to find out what now means, things again start to look ordered and nice, and individual nows seem to exist. Wow. Okay, Kokuzarts. You brought back my sanity. <laughs> Can we do something with them? Let's return to our block universe. Okay. Maybe the block does not contain the future, and maybe we just imagined it wrong. Maybe the block is just the past, and a thin layer on the surface is the present. Hmm. That surface is not smooth, but bumpy and uneven. It's been made by joining countless hmm. individual nows. It's like the quantum field in empty space. There's always things bubbling. Each experience by someone or something in the universe, each equally real and valid. And all observers do their bit, so cosmic democracy is still true. As new mm. things happen and uncertain things become certain, radioactive atoms decay, new species of mammals arise, people miss the bus, the border moves upwards, creating new time in the universe. Instead of a frozen block of time with a future that has already been written, the block is growing and things happen. Okay, 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 Kukuzarts. So, you know, this kind of solves both dilemmas all in one you can again decide your future mm, maybe yeah, leave early will. so you won't miss the bus what <laughs> is real then let's recap what we started real? with time as a movie one now after yeah. another where only the current now was real mm -hmm. then we found out that because of relativity there are multiple nows all of them real somehow which could mean that we're living in a frozen block universe where things don't happen and you don't really have free will and we ended up with a kind of growing block universe where time passes and the future is open. I like so that. So which is correct? What is real? The Number present? Three. The Number past? Three. Are the dinosaurs as real as you are right now? What do the aliens on the other corner of the universe think about all this? To be honest, no one knows. What mm. we've learned are two possibilities to describe time, but they're not the only ones. Some scientists think that the idea of now only makes sense near you, but not in the universe as a whole. Others think yeah. that time itself doesn't even exist. That the mm, time doesn't exist. Hmm. I mean, what is time? It's just tracking the passage of one event after another. Is time a tangible thing? You tell me in the comments. What is time? The whole concept is an illusion of our human mind. And others think that time does exist, but that it's not a fundamental feature of the universe. 
So, I mean, if it's an illusion, how are we able to track it, measure it, and use it to do things, very valuable things? Rather, time may be something that emerges from a deeper level of reality, just like heat emerges from the motion of individual molecules, or life emerges mm. from the interactions of lifeless proteins. Mm. We could go on, but aren't you about to miss the bus? <laughs> Okay, so that was the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to help this channel grow. It's much appreciated. So what do you think this leaves us at? You know, do you really have free will? I mean, quantum physics kind of forces the issue of randomness into the world. So if you experience the same thing 20 million times, are you going to make the same exact decision 20 million times? Even with quantum randomness there? <laughs> Very likely, I think, but maybe in a 20 billionth time, you might make a different decision because of those random quantum fluctuations that might happen. But overall, I think life size reality is pretty solid. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. You tell me in the comments. So let's spark that debate. Okay. And if you rather go watch another video, go check out one of these videos on the screen right now. Catch you in the next one. Dal Mecca out.